HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Hillers Softball on HCAM. And today we are live on our YouTube page as the 4-1 and one Hopkinton Hillers take on the 2-0 and oh Norton Lancers. It should be a great TVL matchup here today. Let's take a look at the Norton Lancers batting order. They are led by head coach Wade Lazat, and the batting order is leading off the shortstop Destiny McGrath. Batting second, the second baseman, Olivia Menyo. Batting third, the center fielder, Janet Jolly. Hitting cleanup, the catcher, Nicole Granger. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Madison Correa. Batting sixth, the first baseman, Julia Alves. Batting seventh, the pitcher, Megan Vagnani. Batting eighth, the designated player, Erica Ransom. And hitting ninth, the right fielder, Sophia Knopf. And for the Hopkinton Hillers, Pitching today is Juliana Cedia, and the catcher is her sister, Jillian Cedia. At first base, Catherine Morse, the second baseman, Emily Whalen, the shortstop, Alyssa McIntyre, the third baseman, Kristen McCluskey, from left to right, Jordan Chevery, Katie Hawley, and Sienna Harrigan round out the Hopkinton Hillers defense as Destiny McGrath set to step in the right-handed batter's box and we are set to go here at the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. A beautiful 61 degree sunny day for Hiller softball. Tom Nappy, Mike Terosian on the call. Mike Terosian pulling double duty also running camera today and the first pitch is strike one to Destiny McGrath. Tom, what a beautiful day for softball. Thanks for uh, inviting me out today. Certainly glad you could make it Mike. Should be a great matchup here today. Lineup and the pitch from Cedia, fouled off into the backstop, 0 oh and 2. Destiny McGrath so far on the season, 4 for 8 at the plate. She has a triple and two home runs. The sophomore is certainly a dangerous hitter for the Norton Lancers, and they have a very well-rounded lineup. Hillers baseball also in action against Bridgewater Raynham. We'll try to get you some updates throughout the broadcast on how that game is going as that pitch was down low, 1 and 2. Larry Sacklad and John Ritz over at the baseball game. You'll be able to catch that game airing on the HCAM channels. That pitch is low, two and two on Destiny McGrath. Juliana Cedia has pitched well so far for the Hopkinton Hillers. She had a great game against Milford last week. We'll get you the numbers for Cedia on the season. She has a 285 ERA, two wins, one loss, and four appearances. She's pitched 19 and two-thirds of an inning. The freshman has struck out 22 hitters and walked eight. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, full count. Well, this top part of the Norton batting order, certainly pretty dangerous. And once again, the Lancers expected to be towards the top of the TVL. CDO waits the sign and is set to deal to Destiny McGrath. Upstairs and McGrath has drawn the walk. It'll bring up Olivia Menyo, the second baseman. Olivia Menyo is one for six so far at the plate this season, one run driven in. And it's a bunt. Fouled away and just out of the reach of Jillian Cedia. The Hillers led by head coach Shannon Alberry in our first season at the helm. He's done a wonderful job so far. A lot of experience in the Hillers softball system. Cedia set to deliver. The infielders are playing in on the corners as that's fouled into the backstop, 0 and 2. The Hiller 
Warriors are two and one in their last three. With wins over Dover, Sherborne, and Milford. They lost to Lincoln Sudbury in a 10 inning game. That pitch down low gets away and the runner's gonna take off and she will easily get to second base on the wild pitch. So runner on second, no outs for Norton. CD is set to deal. Hit in the air, a shallow fly and caught by Whalen who immediately turns the second to make sure the runner stays put, one away. That'll bring up Janet Jolly, the center fielder. Runner on second, one out for Norton. Janet Jolly hitting at a 143 mark, one for seven at the plate. Follows that one into the backstop, 0 and 1. It was rainy all day yesterday, but the turf field seems nice and dry and ready to go for today's action. It's amazing over the years that this was the wettest field up until June, and now they are the driest. And this is lined up the left side and caught by McCluskey, two away. Runner stays put at second. I'll bring up Nicole Granger, the cleanup hitter and catcher. Nicole Granger is four for seven at the plate so far. Three runs driven in. That pitch down low. Runner thought about taking off, but we'll go back. Cedia, it's the new ball and is set to deal. And this is hit in the air over to right field and caught by Sienna Harrigan to retire the side. After a half inning of play, it is a scoreless game between the Hillers and Norton. Hopkinton coming up to bat next on HCAM. Bottom of the first inning, the Hopkinton Hillers coming up to the plate. Let's look at the batting order. Leading things off is the second baseman, Emily Whalen. Batting second, the third baseman, Kristen McCluskey. Batting third, the center fielder, Katie Holly. In the cleanup spot is catcher, Jillian Cedia. Batting fifth, the shortstop, Alyssa McIntyre. Hitting sixth, the designated player, Tara Kester. Hitting seventh, the left fielder, Jordan Chevery. Hitting eighth, the pitcher, Juliana Cedia. And hitting ninth, the right fielder, Sienna Harrigan. As Emily Whalen set to step in to face Megan Vegnani, who's had a great season so far for the Norton Lancers. We'll take a look at the Norton Diamond in just a moment. Vignani delivers, and this is up the left side, past the reach of the third baseman, picked up by the shortstop, and she'll overthrow first. Whalen's aboard. A tough play to make. I'm going to credit Emily Whalen with the single there. That'll bring up Kristen McCluskey. Actually, I'm going to change it. That was an overthrow. That so was we'll, definitely an overthrow. We'll, we'll give Whalen the. Uh, We'll give uh, Waylon the reach on the air there. I'd, yep. like, I'd like to give her the single, but that was just too much of an overthrow. The bunt pulled back, Waylon taking off, throw to second, is in time. They catch her stealing. Aggressive base running by the Hillers. Let's take a look at the Norton Diamond as Kristen McCluskey awaits her second pitch. Megan Vignani the pitcher. Her battery mate is Nicole Granger behind the plate. At first base, Julia Alves. Second base, Olivia Menyo. Shortstop, Dusty McGrath, as that pitch fouled away. Third baseman, Riley Jewett. From left to right, Madison Coria, Janet Jolly, and Sophia Knopf for coach Wade Lazat's Norton Lancers. McCluskey awaits the pitch. Swing and a miss. So and two. Kristen McCluskey at a 625 mark. On this season, that pitch outside. Five, four, eight at the plate, four runs scored, and a triple to her credit. And there's strike three, two away. That'll bring up Katie Holly, the center fielder. Well, as we mentioned, a good pitcher once again for the Norton Lancers, Megan Vignani, who's done well this season. She's 2-0, oh. she's pitched both games, complete games, 
As that pitch up high, one ERA, 14 innings pitched. 10 hits given up, three runs, two of those were earned, 14 strikeouts and four walks. Down low. Two and O oh on Katie Holly. Inside. Katie Holly hitting at a 7-14. 15 for 21 at the plate. 13 runs driven in, or 12 runs driven in. 13 scored as that's fouled away. Two doubles and a home run to Katie Holly's credit. Three one count on Katie Holly. The lefty awaits the pitch. Outside, she'll draw the two out walk. I'll bring up Jillian Cedia. Well, the Hillers know they're going to have to try to manufacture some runs against this good pitcher, and they try to get Waylon to advance to second, but she was unable to, as that one is caught in foul territory, as Olivia Menio, the second baseman, ranges to her left and catches the third and final out of the first inning. We are scoreless as we head to the top of the second on HCAM. Top of the second inning, HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Stepping in for the Norton Lancers is Madison Coria, the left fielder. A scoreless game here as we enter the second inning. Acedia delivers just high, 1 and 0. Oh. 5, 6, and 7 hitters do up for Norton. Tom Nappy, Mike Terosian, happy to be on the call with you this very nice afternoon for Hiller's softball. That pitch down low, 2 and 0. Oh. Madison Coria, one for four at the plate so far this season. She'll get a piece of this one, and it's fouled away beyond the backstop. And the stands, two and one. Cedia set to deliver the two one. Down low. She winds and deals just high. And she'll walk the leadoff hitter for the second straight inning. That'll bring up Julia Alves, the first baseman. Julia Alves will first have a discussion with Coach Lazat. Julia Alves is two for seven so far at the plate this season. Well, something going on here. Looks like we'll have a meeting with the... Oh, uh, some kind of switch. I think there was some kind of switch going on here. And that's what the coaches were working out just a little bit ago. We'll see if we can find out what's going on here at the Perhaps. start of the next inning. Have some confusion with the lineup, of some sort. Actually, That's what you got next, it was right? uh, number 25 who was at the plate last. Corey is number 34, so it looks like uh, it's just a different number from the original listed roster. As somebody forgot their shirt at home. <laughs> well, actually, it's Knopf who's uh, listed as number 25. And we'll see if we can find out from the coach what happened. I don't know if they switched Knopf and Correa in the batting order. We'll certainly uh, have to pay attention to that. In any case, Julia Alves will step back in. And she'll get a piece of this one over to left field and caught 
by Chevery, one away. Runner stays put at first. That'll bring up Megan Vagdani, the pitcher. Runner on first, one out. Infielder is in on the corners. And Vignani hits this one in the air, and it's handled by the shortstop. Nearly fell out of her glove there, but she's able to hang on. Two away. I'll bring up Erica Ransom, the designated player. Upstairs, one and oh. Cedia delivers just outside, two and oh. Fouled away. Two and one. In there for a strike. CD is set to deliver the 2-2. Swing and a miss, strike three for out number three. And we are scoreless as we head to the bottom of the second on HCAM. Bottom of the second inning, stepping in is Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop. Line up and the pitch down low from Vignani. Well, the confusion last inning, Madison Correa, who's listed as 34, is actually number 25. And Sophia Knopf, who's listed as 25, is wearing number four today. I guess some laundry issues. And this is a bunt, slow roller up the middle, fair ball, throw to first, not in time. Melissa McIntyre beats it out, and she's safely aboard to start off the bottom of the second. They'll bring up Tara Kester, the designated player. Vignani delivers upstairs. Thought about checking in at first, but the runner stayed put. Tara Kester hitting three for six so far on the season, takes a strike there. She has driven into and scored four runs. Sophomore having a pretty good season so far. Swing and a miss. One and two. That was a big time swing there. Runner on first, no outs for the Hillers. Bottom of the second, scoreless between Hopkinton and Norton. Fouled away. Count remains one and two. Pitch down low, runner stays put at first. Catcher quick to gather it up. And this is hit in the air, right side foul territory out of the reach of everybody. Count remains two and two. Tara Kester awaits the pitch. In there for a cold strike, out number one. Jordan Chevery will step in, the left fielder. And there 
There's a strike. Jordan Chevery having a great season at the plate so far. 13 for 20 overall, 650 batting average, six runs scored, seven driven in. A double and triple to her credit. Inside. One and one. Melissa McIntyre over at first, one on, one out. Upstairs, two and one. Vignani delivers, hit in the air, over to center field and caught. Two away, runner stays put at first. I'll bring up Juliana Cedia, the pitcher. Inside, 1 and 0 oh, to the lefty. Juliana is 7 for 13 at the plate, 538 batting average. Five runs scored, six driven in. Fouled away, three doubles and a homer to her credit. Vignani set to deal the 1 1. Inside. 2 and 1. And this is hit up the left side. That's a fair ball. Alyssa McIntyre will stop at second. Two on, two outs. That'll bring up Sienna Harrigan, the right fielder. Well, a baseball game in the second inning between Bridgewater, Raynham, and Hopkinton. They are scoreless. Pinch runner coming in for Juliana Cedia. Carly Stevens is going to pinch run. And she'll get a piece of this one. Harrigan hits this over to right field. Could be trouble, and it's caught. Ranging in was Sophia Knopf to make the third and final out of the second inning. We'll head to the top of the third. We're scoreless on HCAM. Top of the third inning. Coming up for the Lancers is the nine hitter, Sophia Knopf, the right fielder. And we have a little umpire issue over here at the Norton bench. I think it's uh, trying to straighten out the number situation once again. So I think everyone's all set. I got thumbs up from Blue. We are ready to go. Sun's starting to peak out once again. Juliana Cedia set to deal. Just low. Oh, no. There's a strike. Oh, sweet spot right there. The 1 1. Fouled away. Top of the order due up next for the Lancers. One, two, just outside. That was close. Had to be outside because it looked good from here. <laughs> There's the two, two, upstairs, full count. Cedia has walked the leadoff hitter in each of the last two innings. Top of the third, scoreless game. 
Swing and a miss, out number one. Second strikeout of the game for Cedia. We'll bring up Destiny McGrath, the shortstop who walked to start off the game. Fouled away. A whole lot of athletic activity going on today at Hopkinton High School. We got the track meet going on, baseball team playing, and of course the softball team in action. It looks like uh, several towns too at this track meet. I've seen a couple different color shirts there. Uh, green, it looks like uh, like a Dover Sherbin blue. I see an Ashland blue. What, is that Ashland a. blue? You got the A? I can't. Oh, there it is right there, yeah. One and one is the count on McGrath. I believe the tennis teams are in action today as well. Rainy day yesterday postponed most games across the TVL. Well, this is a relay race because uh, I heard the gun go off, but I, I didn't see anyone move. Here they are. <laughs> the wind up and the pitch. Up high, two and one. The 2 1. Low. Low and outside. 3 and 1 on McGrath. She walked in her only plate appearance of the game. And this is tattooed over to right field. That's going to go off the fence for a hit, but it'll only be a single as it was quickly thrown in by Harrigan. It'll bring up Olivia Menyo, the second baseman. That ball was crushed over to right field, but a nice job by Harrigan getting that ball in quickly. Tell you, if, the, if this was on the old field going the other way, that would have been a double. Because it would have been no fence. <laughs> it would, would have rolled up the hill. Yeah, they got a big right field over there. Upstairs. And they are expected to play a few games over on the grass field. The 1-0, in there for a strike. Olivia Menyo flew out in her only plate appearance back in the first inning. Cedia deals upstairs. CD is set to deal the 2-1. The bunt pulled back and it's low. Runner taking off from first and she will be credited with the steal. Runner on second, one out for Norton. Scoreless on the top of the third. CD delivers. Hit in the air, foul off the light pole, full count. Juliana Cedi is set to deliver the full count pitch. Fouled away. Menyo stays alive. Janet Jolly do up next for Norton. Full count pitch, up high, and Menu draws the walk. Third walk of the game for Cedia. That'll bring up Janet Jolly. Runners on first and second, one out for Norton. Gets a piece of this one, hit high in the air, right side, and it's caught by the first baseman, Catherine Morse, two away. Rudders stay put. Nicole Granger, the catcher, will step in. Nicole
Cole Granger was four for seven at the plate heading into today's action. There's a strike. Now at an even 500 mark after flying out in the first inning. The 0-1. Just low, Ooh. says the home plate umpire. I don't know about that one. Well, we're kind of <laughs> kind of far away there, and he is right over. I've uh, just been a bit of a homer. Yeah. <laughs> You homer, you. The 1-1. One, one. Hit in the air over to left field towards the wall, and Katie Holly makes the catch. And that is going to be the third and final out of the top of the third. What a great catch by Katie Holly. That was certainly in the danger zone, but we are scoreless as we head to the bottom of the third on HCAM. Bottom of the third inning, top of the order due up for the Hillers. Emily Whalen, Kristen McCluskey, and Katie Holly. We are scoreless between Hopkinton and Norton. Norton threatened last inning, allowing two runners to reach. But CD was able to pitch her way out of it. Katie Holly made a nice catch in center field to wrap up the inning. A pitch down low, one and oh. softball today streaming live on our YouTube page youtube.com slash HCAM TV as this is hit up the middle and that'll get through no one was there and it's a leadoff single for Whalen. her second time reaching today she reached on an error in the first inning Kristen McCluskey the third baseman will step in And there for a strike as the sophomore lefty goes to an 0 and 1 count. Whalen tried to steal in the first inning and got caught. Will she try it again? That's fouled away. 0 and 2, just past the so reach close, of Coach so Alberry. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had that one. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> Of course not, I'd still be on the bench. That pitch inside. I was told, I was told uh, Coach Alberry played four years of softball at UMass Dartmouth. Yes, she did. One, two, swing and a miss. And that was out number one. I don't think Kristen McCluskey was aware of the count. Katie Holly will step in. Katie Holly walked in her only plate appearance of the game back in the first inning. Takes a strike here. Well, the Hillers baseball team leading Bridgewater Raynham one to nothing. That pitch up high. Looks like it's the second inning, if I'm reading the scoreboard correctly. That's if they're changing the scoreboard correctly. <laughs> and this is up the middle, and no one's going to get to it. It'll be two on with one out. A single for Katie Holly. Whalen advances to second. Jillian Cedia, the catcher, will step in. Big opportunity here for the Hillers. Julian Cedia is hitting at an 818 coming into today's game. That pitch outside. 9 4 11 on the season. Seven runs scored, 11 driven in, and a home run to her credit. And she'll foul that one away, one and one. Julian was away for the games during the spring break. That pitch is fouled away. But the Hillers racked up a couple of wins during that span. Her 
or actually it was one and one record during that span. They lost to Lincoln Sudbury in 10 innings and defeated Milford by way of the mercy. Two and two. Two on, one out. Fouled away off the backstop. Jillian certainly has a lot of power behind her swing. And she takes strike three. She doesn't like it, but that's going to be out number two. She's saying it. Or she's actually might be arguing she got a piece of it. She might get a piece of it. And now the umpires are going to have a discussion. Wayland advanced to third in the meantime. She might be sent back. It was a check swing. I think she certainly held. I don't know if it was a check swing or she was but it I don't like it almost tapped the bottom of her bat. It might have. They might overturn this one, I think. Foul ball. Foul ball. And now he's going to have to explain to the door. The coach is coming out. Count goes back to two and two. And the uh, coach for Norton Lozat is arguing that it hit the catcher's glove. No, she, had, she caught it in the glove. So if it was a foul ball, then it was a cut, cut third, uh, foul ball strike, right? Actually, that would be the correct call if she did catch it. Yeah. So it's not a question of missed. It's a question of being caught now. He couldn't, uh, the uh, field umpire could not see it. Well, nor hear it. I didn't hear it. So, they got error on the side of caution, and Norton is now, yeah, Norton's not liking it. So, I think they're going to stick with the call of a foul yep. ball. Yep. Okay. If only they had instant replay. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon. Oh. Two on, one out for the Hillers. A two and two count on Jillian Cedia. And she'll whack this one over to center field. That's going to get down for a hit. And that'll put three runners on for the Hillers. Bases are juiced for Alyssa McIntyre. Emily Whalen up to third. They did indeed send her back to second. And Katie Holly over at second. What conference going on now? And will we see a pinch runner for Jillian? And it looks like we will. So we're gonna have a pinch runner for Jillian Cedia. I believe it's uh, Heather Sivo coming out to pinch run. Heather Sivo wearing number three today. Alyssa McIntyre set to step in. She singled in her only plate appearance last inning. Bases loaded, one out for the Hillers. Upstairs. The 1 0. And this is roped into center field. Emily Whalen around to score. Katie Holly is behind her. She will come around to score. And it is going to be a two run double for Alyssa McIntyre. The Hillers take the 2 0 lead. Great piece of hitting there by Alyssa McIntyre, who has been red hot at the plate. Heather Siva, the pitch runner for Jillian Cedia, advances to third, and Tara Kester will step in. And Kester gets a piece of this one up the right side, gloved by the second baseman, throw to first, but a run will come around to score. 
And that is a sacrifice ground out for Kester. And she'll be credited with the RBI. Up to third is McIntyre. Three nothing Hillers. Chevery will step in. And she'll get a piece of this one over to right field, and it's dropped, and another run will come around to score. Chevery reaches on the right fielder's error, and Alyssa McIntyre comes around for the fourth Hillers run. It's amazing how quick a game can just blow up. And, you know, of course, the big talk of this is what about that call? Should that have been a strike three? Should that have been a cut foul? It's a shame that such good hitting will get flagged in controversy. Hillers will take it, however. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm taking it. <laughs> Juliana Cedia set to step in. She singled last inning. Hillers going to try to keep this rally going. There is two outs in the inning, but four runs have scored for Hopkinton. And now leads it four to nothing in the bottom of the third. Upstairs. Hiller's baseball update, Hopkinton leading Bridgewater Rainham three to nothing. We believe it's still the second inning. Two ups, yep. Yeah. In there for a strike, one and one. And this is fouled away, one and two. <laughs> the other side hits the hill, and this hill is totally saturated. And it just <laughs> goes in and stops dead wow. on a 45 degree slope. It just stops dead. <laughs> it makes it easier for whoever has to chase the balls down. Sure. The one two up high. Surprised they don't have the hair dryers going in the, uh, in the dugout. Oh, they can't. There's no electricity. Never mind. Sorry about that. Did I just say that? Oh, I'm sorry. McNani set to deliver the two two. Fouled away. That was a heck of a swig. If she got all of that, that'd be out of here. Down low, full count. Sienna Harrigan do up next. And she held her swing. She'll draw the walk. Chevrolet up to second. And Juliana Cedia is aboard. Sienna Harrigan will step in. Carly Stevens will come out to pinch run for Juliana Cedia. Two on, two outs. Four have scored so far this inning for the Hillers. Who lead Norton four to nothing as that one's fouled away. Fouled away, 0-2 on Harrigan. Sienna Harrigan 0 for 1 so far today. Upstairs, 1 and 2. And she gets a piece of this one, a little bloop shot up the right side, handled by the first baseman for the third and final out of the inning. But not before the Hillers plate four runs, and they lead it four to nothing, heading to the top of the fourth on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Phil's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Four to nothing, the Hillers leading as we head to the top of the fourth. A great three run, uh, excuse me, great four run, four bottom run. of the third for the Hillers. Due up for the Norton Lancers, five, six, and seven. 
Madison Coria, Julia Alves, and the pitcher Megan Vignani to face Juliana Cedia. He's pitched a good game so far. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to right field and caught by Harrigan. One away. They'll bring up Julia Alves, the first baseman. 0-4-1 so far today. Swing and a miss. Hiller's baseball leading Bridgewater Raynham in the third inning, three to nothing over at the turf baseball field. And we will have that game available on our YouTube page as well as HCAM Ed as this is hit above the reach of Kristen McCluskey. And that'll be a one out single for Julia Alves. That'll bring up Megan Vignani, the pitcher. Line up and the pitch. Hit high in the air over to center field. Katie Holly with an incredible catch. She had a range way in and came to a slide and was able to glove it for out number two. What a defensive play by Katie Holly. Wow. I'm just glad I was able to catch that. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was going to go uh, just deep infield. I didn't expect to, to land there, and I was able to catch it. Look for that in the highlight reel. Down low. She had an incredible play against Milford where she made a catch in pretty deep center field, threw it to first to double up the Scarlet Hawks in a 13-1 Hopkinton victory last week. And another incredible play here. Just a great all-around softball player, Katie Holly. See you deals. There's a strike. Oh, she wanted that one. One and one. Just outside. You don't find a lot of center fielders that can make a play like that, Mike. No. And it looks so much better on a turf field, too. <laughs> it certainly does. And this is a bloop shot to the shortstop who will pull it down. Alyssa McIntyre catches the third and final out of the top of the fourth to the bottom of the inning we go. The Hillers leading Norton four to nothing on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Emily Whalen set to step in. The Hillers batted around last inning and played it four runs. It was a great rally for Hopkinton against a very good pitcher in Megan Vignani for Norton. Just outside to Whalen. Emily Whalen has reached in both plate appearances, reached on an error in the first and singled in the third inning as well as scored a run. Two and oh now. And this is hit in the air up the left side and caught by the shortstop who had a battle of the sun. A nice play by Destiny McGrath. One away, that'll bring up Kristen McCluskey. Swing and a miss, 0 oh and 1. She likes that high stuff. Oh, and two. Kristen was hitting at a 625 coming into today's game. She's had a hard time with Megan Vignani striking out twice so far. But she'll get a piece of this one over to right field. It goes. That's going to get down for a base hit. McCluskey rounding first, heading to second, and it rolls all the way to the fence out there. It'll be a stand-up double 
for the third baseman, Kristen McCluskey. A one out double, and that'll bring up Katie Holly. About the last person you want to see at the plate if you're Norton. Down right at this moment. And Fielder is playing in on the corners. Katie Holly, 0 4 1 with a walk. And she'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It goes. McCluskey being waved around. She's going to head home and score the fifth Hiller's run of the game. An RBI double for Katie Holly. 5 0 Hopkinton leading Norton in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up Jillian Cedia, the catcher. This is Hopkins' answer to say, hey, this is not a fluke, that last inning. Inside to Cedia. Julian Cedia, team leading 818 batting average heading into today's game. She's 1 for 2 so far today. Inside. 2 and 0. Oh. And she'll rip this one. What a catch by the shortstop. Wow, an unbelievable play there by Destiny McGrath. That was a very hard hit ball. And Destiny McGrath came to a dive and was able to rip it out of the air for out number two. Runners stay put. Alyssa McIntyre will step in. And that's good heads up base running there by Katie Holly, not getting too far off the second base bag, able to get back in time. One and O oh to McIntyre. It's another gem right there. Upstairs, two and O. Oh. Runner on second, two outs. Another run has scored for the Hillers, who lead it five to nothing here in the bottom of the fourth. In there for a strike. Two and one. She gets a piece of this one, shallow hit ball, picked up by the second baseman, throw to first, and it's just in time. Four to three on the out, but the Hillers played another run, and they lead it five to nothing as we head to the top of the fifth on HCAM. Top of the fifth inning, the Hillers leading Norton five to nothing. Stepping in for the Lancers, Sophia Knopf, the right fielder. And that's fouled away. Actually, do we have a pinch hitter here? 21? Looks like uh, we got a pinch hitter indeed, and that is Smegaliski at the plate for the Lancers. Swing and a miss. It is Abby Smigaliski, the sophomore. That pitch just outside. I believe she's probably going to take over in right field as well. Swing and a miss. A strikeout for Juliana Cedia. One away. I'll bring up Destiny McGrath, the shortstop. She had an unbelievable catch last inning. Down low. Was able to snag a hard hit liner hit by Jillian Cedia and save another Hiller's run from scoring. Line up and the pitch upstairs. Two and O. Oh. Hiller softball takes on Westwood tomorrow. 3.45 start right here at the turf. That's upstairs. And tomorrow we'll actually have Hiller's baseball against Westwood streaming live on our YouTube page. 
youtube.com slash HCAMTV. That game also a 345 start. And supposedly it'll be on the grass field for tomorrow's game. So we'll get to use our nice new perch. Platform sounds better. I, I'd say broadcast platform. I like it. <laughs> Bill's Pizza had a big part in helping us out with that. 3-1. Hit in the air over to right field, deep right field, and it's caught by Sienna Harrigan, who's made a couple nice catches today. Two away. It'll bring up Olivia Menyo, the second baseman. Upstairs, 1 and 0. Oh. Menio 0 oh for 1 with a walk today. She held her swing, 2 and 0. Oh. Two o oh pitch from Cedia. Just up high, says the home plate umpire. Three zero pitch. In there for a strike. He had to look at that. Three one. Gets a piece of this one up the left side, and it is caught by Chevery. A great catch in left field by Chevery for the third and final out of the top of the fifth. One, two, three, they go. Five nothing Hillers as we head to the bottom of the fifth on H Cam. Bottom of the fifth inning, Hillers leading Norton. Five to nothing. Tara Kester, the designated player, steps in. Megan Vignani delivers up the middle, picked up by the second baseman, throw to first, one away. Four to three on the out. Jordan Chevery, the left fielder, will step in. She's flown out and reached on an error. Up the third base side and foul just in front of our cameraman slash color announcer Mike DeRogian. I'm just glad it wasn't coming at eye level. <laughs> I thought you were going to get one there. You're going to have to get out there with your glove. Not enough room in this gate but for the camera and me. And this is a slow roller up the left side. Picked up by the third baseman. Throw to first in time. Five to three on the out. Two away. That'll bring up Juliana Cedia, the pitcher. Cedia has singled and walked in this game. The lefty awaits the pitch upstairs. Miller's baseball update, Hopkinton leading Bridgewater Raynham three to nothing in the fourth inning. Upstairs, two and oh. McNani delivers, down low. 3-0 count to Cedia. Can she keep her on base percentage this game perfect? There's a strike. Sienna Harrigan do up next. The 3 1. And therefore, strike two grabs the outer corner. Full cow pitch. Ripped foul. Fouled away. Count remains full. Hey, 
Upstairs, she'll draw the walk. Two out walk. They'll bring up Sienna Harrigan, the right fielder. Harrigan has flown out both times at the plate today. Upstairs, nice grab by the catcher, Nicole Granger. And this is fouled off, one and one. Top of the order, due up next for the Hillers. One on, two outs, Hillers leading Norton, five nothing. Up the left side, slow roller, picked up by the shortstop, throw to first, in time. Six to three for out number three. We will head to the top of the sixth inning. The Hillers leading Norton five to nothing on H cam. Top of the sixth inning, a five nothing Hillers lead. Three, four, and five due up for Norton. Janet Jolly, Nicole Granger, and Madison Correa. As the center fielder steps in and awaits the pitch from Juliana Cedia. In the air for strike one. Cedia deals down low. One and one. Get in the air, foul territory out of the reach of everybody. One and two. One, two pitch. And this is a fair ball right to the first baseman. No problem for Catherine Morse, one away. That'll bring up Nicole Granger. Hit in the air up the right side and foul territory out of everyone's reach, 0 and 1. Brad Marshan going to get the ball for us. <laughs> the Bruins, of course, game seven tonight against Toronto. Hopefully they'll be advancing on in the Stanley Cup playoffs. And looks like they're going for another one. That's right. Oh, and two now. Should be a good battle tonight. A lot of memorable game sevens between the Bruins and Maple Leafs. My favorite game seven is the one they always show the Toronto audience outside the stadium watching. <laughs> and they get everything's great. And then Bruins come back to beat them. And oops, all you hear is crickets. Is that the two empty net goal game? Yeah. Up the left side, that'll get through for a two out single, or a one out single for Nicole Granger. That'll bring up Madison Correa, the left fielder. Deals upstairs. Good pull down by Jillian. And this is hit in the air over to right center. Katie Holly ranges way to her left to make the catch. A nice play there for out number two. Granger stays put at first base. I'll bring up Julia Alves, the first baseman. Oh, 
think Katie Holly could pretty much cover the entire outfield herself. Pretty much, yeah. Upstairs. 4 nothing. Hiller's lead over Bridgewater Raynham in the baseball game now. They're in the bottom of the fourth. Brewers baseball off to a great start as this is hit in the air over to left center and that's going to be trouble up against the wall it goes. Lead runner is going to be stopped at third. It'll be runners on the corners with two outs for Norton. Nicole Granger over at third. Julia Alves at first after a nicely hit ball. Megan Vignani the pitcher will step in. Two outs in the inning. And that is foul. The 0-1. Up the middle, handled by Cedia. Throw to first, not a problem. One to three for out number three. And the Hillers remain up on Norton, five to nothing as we head to the bottom of the six on H cam. Bottom of the sixth inning, a new pitcher for the Norton Lancers. Sophia Knopf has moved over from right field to take over in the pitcher's circle. Abby Smegaleski moves over to right field for the Norton Lancers. And set to step in for the Hillers is Emily Whalen. Actually, a correction on the right fielder. It is Morgan and Tosca taking over in right field. Good job with the pronunciations today. Thank you. I try. Megan Vignani pitched five innings total. Emily Whalen set to step in for the Hillers, leadoff hitter. She gave up five runs, four of which were earned. <laughs> Infielders playing way in on the corners. They know about Emily Whalen's bunt potential. Strike one there. And this is hit foul towards us, 0 oh and 2. Yeah, that one, I stopped it with my leg. <laughs> the camera leg. <laughs> camera tripods could be used for many things, including stopping softballs. And this is up the third base side, glove by the third baseman, throw to first, and they got her. Nicely done by Riley Jewett over at third base. Five to three on the first out. Kristen McCluskey will step in. It's a highlight of any opposing team is to get Waylon out on a, one of her bunts. That was certainly a close call as well. Sure. O and one on McCluskey, who's one for three today. Doubled and scored a run in the fourth. Swing and a miss, so and two. Swing and a miss there, strike three, two away. Knopf bringing the heat. Katie Holly will step in. She's having a great day at the plate. Two for two with a walk, a run scored, and a run driven in. Strike one. Strike two, bringing the heat is Stephanie Knopf. Line up and the pitch, fouled away. Yeah, 
Tom Nappy, Mike Tarosian. Happy to be with you for Hiller softball. 5 0 in the bottom of the sixth. The 0 2 pitch fouled away. Katie Holly staying alive. Coach Lazat wants to talk to his pitcher. Stephanie Knopf, a good all around softball player for Norton. Pretty good in the field as well as in the pitcher's circle. And Norton, they have a pretty busy schedule this week, so good opportunity to get her some reps from the pitcher's circle. Third 0-2 pitch up high. One and two. Katie Hawley trying to keep her day at the plate perfect. Swing and a miss, out number three. To the top of the seventh we go. Norton down to their final three outs as the Hillers lead the Lancers five to nothing on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Weston Nurseries located at 93 East Main Street. You can find them online at westonnurseries.com. Top of the seventh inning. Stepping in is Erica Ransom, the designated player. She'll get a piece of this, and it's dropped by Whalen. Flip to first, they get the out. Nicely done by Emily Whalen, keeping her cool after the drop and flipping it over to Morse for the out, one away. I'll bring up Stephanie Knopf, who, Sophia Knopf, rather, who keeps her at bats in the ninth spot. And she takes strike one there. Juliana Cedia deals down low. One and one. Hiller is two outs away from improving to five and one overall. Outside. Two and one. There's a strike. Two and two. And this is hit in the air and dropped by the shortstop. Tough play to make. A one out single for Knopf. I'm giving that the hit, Mike. That's just a tough play to come up with. Yeah, definitely a hit. Destiny McGrath will step in. Cedia deals down low. Killer lacrosse team getting ready for a practice. I believe they'll be on the softball field after this game is through. And this is ripped oh. in the air, and that is gone, a home run. Destiny McGrath tattoos that ball, and it's a five to two ball game. That was absolutely crushed beyond the right center fence. And there goes the shutout for Juliana Cedia, and Olivia Menio will step in. Wow. Hopefully they put a uh, return address on that ball because that thing is gone. Crushed. She might have hit that one all the way back to Norton. That's Destiny McGrath's third home run of the season. Five to two Hillers. And this is hit in the air to right field and caught by Harrigan two away. We'll bring up Janet Jolly, the center fielder. The 
Miller's baseball continuing to lead Bridgewater Raynham four to nothing. That game now in the fifth inning. Up high. There's a strike, one and one. Up the middle, glove by the shortstop, throw to first, and they get her, yes. Six to three for out number three, despite a two run homer for Norton in the top of the seventh. The Ellers hang on and collect the five to two victory. A very well pitched game by Juliana Cedia and also Katie Holly, a great day at the plate, two for three overall with a walk. A run scored and an RBI. The Hopkinton Illers now five and one on the season. The Norton Lancers fall to two and one. The Hillers of Hopkinton defeat the Lancers of Norton five to two. For Mike Tarosian on camera, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Hopkinton Illers softball on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.